on this episode of Fantastical Festivals and Surprising Celebrations. The year is 1948, and the state of Rhode Island General Assembly has passed a bill marking August 14th as a state holiday. Nearly two decades later, the holiday would be altered by legislature to be observed on the second Monday in August. And so, it has remained that on the second Monday of August every year, Rhode Island celebrates... Victory Day! Victory Day is a holiday that marks the end of World War II. The Second World War ended on August 14th of 1945, the date that the Japanese surrendered to the Allies. Their surrender followed only days after the United States dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The President addresses the nation. I received this afternoon a message from the Japanese government in reply to the message forwarded to that government by the Secretary of State on August 11th. I deem this reply a full acceptance of the Potsdam Declaration, which specifies the unconditional surrender of Japan. In the reply, there is no qualification. Arrangements are now being made for the formal signing of the surrender terms at the earliest possible moment. General Douglas MacArthur has been appointed the Supreme Allied Commander to receive the Japanese surrender. Great Britain, Russia, and China will be represented by high-ranking officers. Meantime, the Allied Armed Forces have been ordered to suspend offensive action. The proclamation of VJ Day must await upon the formal signing of the surrender terms by Japan. Following the announcement by President Truman of the Japanese surrender, there were mass celebrations across the U.S. However, Rhode Island is the only state to annually recognize the anniversary presently. Arkansas celebrated a World War II Memorial Day up until 1975, at which point it was no longer recognized as a state holiday. Still, Rhode Island remains. But controversy abounds. We are now in the 1980s and the nation of Japan has been a growing ally of the United States for decades. Questions are beginning to be asked about the appropriateness of celebrating the U.S.'s victory over Japan. Japanese officials claim that the holiday harmed trade between the two nations. The Rhode Island Japan Society even tried to litigate against the name of the holiday. There have been several attempts to rename the holiday, but none have been successful. Victory Day still has staunch defenders and remains a day of remembrance in the ocean state. This has been a broadcast from the Terrell County Public Library. If you would like to hear more about a specific holiday, pick up your phone and give us a ring, visit our front desk, or let us know in the comments below. Signing off for now, farewell.